pull you back in when you decide to follow your fate through the ball. <clears throat> I'm going to pull in track aids. Track aids. Damn it! She put. Who put it in? Fuck off to me. Who is? I belong here. How did you? How did you get it? Fuck off! You're not supposed to. Hold on, track aids. I have connections. Fuck to off! The mod. You're not. Fuck off! What do you mean you have connections? Who the fuck let you in here? The, mo the mods let, let me in here. Dan, let me in here. No, I have something to read for you upon the request. Scarlet Speed 7 had been through a rough day at the office. He sighed and entered his apartment. He slung his coat, his jacket over the coat rack, and slumped into an easy chair, pausing for a moment to collect himself before he turned on night lamp. However, with the click, the lamp came on. Is this a riddle? Scar Scarlet, a raspy voice, whined at a high pitch. Scarlet stated, jerking his head around the source of the room. In a wooden rocking chair on the opposite side of the room, Brittany Benji gently swung back and forth in a menacing rhythm. Creak, 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 creak. Oh my Gucci-ness. Hi, Scarlet, she said, the corner of her mouth. What are you being read, right? right? What, are you reading something? What the fuck is this? I, I, uh, this didn't happen, did you, fuck off. How did you get in here? Scarlet stuttered in disbelief. He schooled slowly forward in his chair, the fabric of his jeans, not allowing him to make a faster escape. What the fuck are you Scarlet, reading me? It's making me you, sick. I want to throw up right now. I want to throw up in your mouth right now. Fuck off! Music. Fuck off! I'm going to throw up in your fucking mouth if you don't stop. What the fuck are you reading? This didn't happen! This never happened! This face with her talent. He could see in, in her beady eyes the rage that burned so bright it, it lit up her immeasurable eye bags. Brittany claimed the meeting. I'm not eye bags! Stop! I know how you feel. See, like, now you guys know the story of the fucking lie. Why are you laughing? <laughs> what the fuck? Stop reading! Are you broken? Hello? Did I have to send you back to the repair shop? I will send you back to the sweatshop! I really don't want to. You need to be returned to the fucking sweatshop! Stop! Scarlet tried to wrestle free, but Brittany's heavy weight forced him captive. She began to I did not force anyone captive. I did not. <laughs> Kicking up the foot I'm so that out. she could have better. Someone fix him. Someone fucking tighten the screw for him, please. Someone tighten the screw for him. One, two, three. Brain giveaway. But One, two, three. I know oh. what you really want, though. I know. Oh my <laughs> god! Get out! Knock! No! Fuck off! <laughs> You desire me. You desire this super feminist body. I really don't. I'm just a loony. Why do you not? Before you come in my room! Brittany. 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 Oh, are you shy, Brittany Mood? I know, I know it will get you in house, an eye job. A uh, what? What the, in the freaking fuck are you talking about, Brittany? Brittany leaned, leaned her eye to his dick while saying, Oh, call me that again. This get me, this gets me wet. Brittany took hold of one of her eye bags, wrapping it, wrapping the skin around Scarlet's penis and squeezing it as she moved up and down. Scarlet threw up in his mouth a little, spitting the vomit onto Brittany's shirt, which had been discarded on a nightstand. He looked at her chest, seeing her tits for the first time. Her breasts rolled out like a red carpet as they weren't large so much for long. She obviously rolled into a product. Are you dying? Are you dying? No. 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 Kicking you out, fuck off. Oh, you fuck off, I need knock, knock now. Knock, knock, knock. Ask if you can come in. Can I come in? No, you can fuck off. Okay. <sighs> Sorry about that. Do you phrase that differently? <clears throat> you sloppy marine cow, what in the hell did you stick in my dick into? Isn't it wonderful? I did not consent for you to make me feel like I was jacking. And now there's another being sent. Brittany continued to ignore And now there's another being sent. You didn't knock! You didn't fucking knock, darling! Oh, I'm having my... Why didn't you knock? Brittany continued to ignore Scarlet. Hello? You hear that? You hear that? It's knocking! It's the sound of knocking! Of this hitting something! Why do you hate your fucking face? And you keep reading the shit in my stream! started. Fuck me like I'm Nikki Bella, you're John Cena. Okay. Get out. Get out. You, I have never had a day. Brittany laughed as she grabbed Scarlet's wrist. Scarlet tried to wrestle... 
wave force. She began to tie his wrist behind the chair, kicking better access to his pants. And now there's a He's lagging so clever, voice reading it. You always have such a wonderful memes. I know what you really want, though. I know what all the Illuminati videos mean. I know why you were always wanting to rap battle me. You desire me. You desire the super feminist body. I really don't. I'm just an Illuminati member doing honest Illuminati work. Brittany slowly pulled down Scarlett's pants to his ankles as she tied his feet to the footrest. After I fuck you, I want you to shit on my chest during this my stream. Saturday after all, you know what that means. Scarlett, although panicked, found a modicum of confusion inside of himself. It's Saturday. Doesn't that mean it's Catterday stream? No. With you here in my clutches, it's time for scattered day. Scarlet repulsed by this concept gagged a little, gagging even further with talons wrapped around his completely unwrecked dick. It was like a hot dog-sized slinky. Oh, are you shy, Bernie? I know what you'll get aroused. Delete!